I was just thinking about this r really quickly. Um, uh, do you like when people sing the birthday song to you? Uh, I'm, I'm split on it. So. <laughs> right, because you want it to happen, but where to look when it does. And then, yeah. Right. It's a tricky thing to figure out who to make eye contact with and when. Yeah. Nobody likes to look at each other when they sing. <laughs> and especially when one person isn't singing, you're not supposed to look at that person. It's rude. You learn that in a choir. <laughs> but I thought it would be an interesting thing. You know, if I don't know much about cameras, but what if we did do a slow zoom in on Rob's face as, <laughs> as we sang the birthday song? Just to study it. Just to yeah, if you could look into the camera, and I think it would just be an interesting, you know, just a study on what happens exactly. I think you would help people year round. I think this is a universal experience. And I mean, does anyone here like the birthday song? Woo! I like it. You like it when people sing it to you? Yeah. What do you do? Do you sing with them? No, I just bask in the glory. Oh, that's so uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> Did someone else said that they liked it? I like it. Why? Um, just because it's a celebratory factor. And then, you know, I don't know where wait, to I'm so, I'm so, I Wait, can I go, can I, I just want to go back. Them. Celebratory factor? <laughs> you just love parties? <laughs> oh, I love to party. Yeah, right, of course. Um, okay, I understand. So it's less about the personal attention and it's more about you just love. You just love it. It's just a party time. Well, it's about me. Like, as you said, you were staring down at the floor. I mean, but that's what I do. I have no eye contact to make. I oh, that's, all that's, that's a really helpful tip. That is a very <laughs> helpful tip. That is exactly what you have to do. So now, Rob, are you ready for this? Uh, I don't, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's going to be, it's, it's going to feel bad. <laughs> um, but that's just kind of, it's good. You know what I mean? It's for the good of everybody. Yeah. So, um. Everybody knows his name. That's kind of a tricky part, you know, when you start singing the birthday song and then you think, what is his name? But it's Rob. Everybody knows that, right? Dear Rob. I guess we could do Rob Spencer. You know, we could do... Rob, I mean, it's Robert, my, like my, Robert? my brother calls me. Do you want to go by Robert this time? I don't know if I like that. I mean, has anyone called you Robert? Has anyone in this room called you Robert? No, it's, it's no, going to yeah. feel weird. Yeah. It's going to feel It's going to feel weird with Robert. Okay, well, yeah. we'll add, we'll stretch out the syllables in Rob, you know, I, I think. Bobby huh? Spence. Bobby Spence? You want to do Bobby Spence? We just talked about how weird Robert would be. Okay, okay, so, uh. We'll try it. Okay, so everybody, I mean, it's crazy how, you know, okay. Um, the cameras is, are ready. Which camera will be? Four, four's going. Four. On. Four's going to you? Yeah. Okay. You could turn your chair. That's kind of strange, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of look like you're posing for a photo on the Titanic. Um, great. Okay, here we go. Feel free to look at anybody, but, okay. you know, you won't. Uh, okay, here we go. A five, six, seven, eight. Happy birthday to you. Yes. Happy birthday to you. Ooh. Happy birthday, dear Rob. Happy birthday to you. Wow, that is exactly how I would have done it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly, yes, give it up for Rob. Wow, that was. What a proof that there's a universal language, you know, and it's don't sing to me. That's something. Is that, uh, you can turn your chair back. I didn't think about how daunting it was. I know, it's very daunting. It um, I'm, sure I, I'm sure I have uh, some time left, but maybe not much. All right. Uh, so, um, so I did want to say that I am, I am 30 already. I've been 30 for a little bit, so I'm a little, I have more wisdom. No offense. And... Uh, <laughs> I have uh, a little bit more wisdom. I've had a lot of uh, some life experience, and um, well, I guess uh, mostly that I can tell you what um, every diner food tastes like. <laughs> I can tell you what all of them taste like. So uh, I'm going to go through and just tell you what all of them taste like. That's a little gift. Um, and if I miss any at the end, just let me know, and I'll try to address it. Um, I will not do repeats. 
So please pay attention. If you're just thinking, I'm going to say French toast no matter what, I encourage you to, you know, really stop and think. Um, okay, are we ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> we, are, we are ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, chicken masala. Don't get this. Uh, nachos. This is going to be chips with a wet, salty sauce. Uh, grilled cheese. This is going to be the saltiest bread. Uh, tuna melt. This is going to be essentially a cat's dream. All right? It's a, a cold tuna salad with hot cheese, and it shouldn't be a sandwich, but it is. Uh, hamburger. This is pretty standard. It may, uh, may be a little bigger than you'd expect, and you're going to think, wow, can I finish all of this? And then you, you, go, you are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hamburger Deluxe is going to be, uh, well, Deluxe in other countries, it kind of refers to, you know, like kings and queens, uh, but in America it refers to lettuce and tomato. So uh, Deluxe is going to come with french fries and a little cup of coleslaw that just gets passed around from plate to plate. It's actually never been eaten. Um, Jello, that's just Jello. Home fries, that's going to be orange potatoes, is going to be the croutons of breakfast. Uh, the light option, that's going to be cottage cheese and pineapple and some kind of meat chunks. Uh, it's not actually light, but you're not going to want to eat a lot of it. Uh, veal parm, this is going to be a hamburger pizza style placed on a bed of cool spaghetti. <laughs> Coffee, this is going to be brown river water you're supposed to drink with cream. <laughs> pancakes, these are very heavy. You think it's going to be like a frivolous, fun choice. Let's go get pancakes. It's going to ruin your day. You've got to lay down. Uh, Coke, you're going to get Pepsi and Pepsi. I don't know what it is, but it's not soda. 7-Up uh, is going to be seltzer with the tang. Uh, <laughs> Orange soda is going to be juice, and orange juice it might be water with a lemon and a sweet and low in it, which is what my dad calls lemonade light. Uh, and egg cream is going to be chocolate milk that got upset. No one's ordered this since 1959. Don't be the first, you know. Um, omelets, this is the most melted cheese you can get on a plate without ordering melted cheese. Uh, Belgian waffle, this is a butter trap. Uh, you're going to think it's like a fun little thing, you just need a fork, but you're going to need a knife too. It's going to be hard to cut, you're going to embarrass yourself. <laughs> Mozzarella sticks, these are going to be too hot and then inedible. <laughs> I hope you like mouth burns and hot cheese. Uh, curly fries, these are going to be somehow $4.50 more than regular fries, but you're going to get fewer. <laughs> Quesadillas are going to give you a panini and then say it's your problem now. <laughs> French toast that's going to be cold to the touch and egg to the taste. <laughs> okay, uh, pickles. I don't know what these are, but they're not pickles. It's some kind of toxic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle bu business. Uh, scrambled eggs if a puddle was a salad and made of eggs. <laughs> and uh, meatloaf. This is, uh, this is the only thing that the chef cares about. Uh, turns out it's his mom's recipe, and guess what? His mom is dead. So uh, this is carries the spirit. <laughs> so um, I will take a few. I have time for a few, a few that if I miss them. I'll take a French onion. Soup. <laughs> French onion soup. French onion soup. Okay, French onion soup. You're gonna, it's going to come in a little dish you've never seen before in your life. It's got a handle, but who knows who's carrying it anywhere, you know? You're staying put. Now, this is going to be a layer of melted cheese that thinks, it seems like a fun idea, but actually it's going to make everything so hot. It's the center of the earth. That's, this is how volcanoes are made. It's terrible, and you're going to eat just spoonfuls of cheese. If you like that, you're going to love soup. Yes? Turkey club? Uh, turkey club should be called bread club because it's mostly just bread, right? Why would you want three pieces of bread on a sandwich? <laughs> I don't mean these to get into personal roasts, but I, I do think that that's a weird sandwich to get. Also, you need to have a little stick to keep your sandwich together. It's too big. Thanks, Benedict.
Eggs Benedict, this is, the, this is the least attractive thing you can order at a diner besides one hard-boiled egg. <laughs> I'd like two eggs covered in egg sauce, please. <laughs> no thanks. Got it. I'll take one more. Matzo ball soup. Matzo ball soup. Great. Matzo ball soup. Uh, you ever wonder what a meatball would taste like if it was made out of bread? <laughs> There's matzo ball soup. All right, guys. Thanks for having me. Give it up one more time. Joe Feister. Thank you. Oh.